Welcome back you filthy exiles. So this is just going to be like a three part really short series. Um, <laughs> we've got Endless Delve coming up. Inevitably you're going to want to farm the bosses down in Endless Delve. And aside from two, one of them is particularly hard and a lot of people fail at. Mainly because they hit bullet death mode. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to beat the Crystal King uh, really easily and simply. Uh, this is what Crystal King node looks like, so it looks like a sort of wolf head sort of thing. Um, now, what's the significance of the Crystal King? Well, they do drop like these mountain and meadow rings and whatever that you can combine to create really cool stuff. And I'll put a link in the description to the recipe combinations uh, down below. But the, uh, the most important thing that it actually drops is an item called All's Uprising which is this item that I'm using on my current character that I've got here, which is my Vortex Occultus from last league. Um, what this basically does is it gives you a free aura, just whether it be wrath, hatred, determinations are the best ones, um, grace, whatever you're running, it gives you a free aura and is one of the most build enabling items that you can play, that you can get in the game. Every league I farm it, and uh, I'm going to show you how to kill an all really easily to uh, to get it. And there's a pretty damn good probability that you'll get one as a guaranteed drop from a uh, from a Crystal King. So as you can see, I've got a few Crystal Kings sort of ticking around. I'm going to go back up to 267. Now the Crystal King um, becomes available after level 181. Now I'm not too sure if there's any caveats or any deviations from that in the actual um, event that we've got, uh, Endless Delve, but in this case, 181's a nice sweet spot, and we're just going to look for Crystal King, and we've got one here, actually, that's a really bad one, because it does elemental penetration, and that's not good. So, we've got one here, and we've got one here, which we'll do. So, basically, we're just going to go to the node. So, we'll get there, and then we'll, I'll show you how to beat the uh, Crystal King really easily. Okay, so we're at the point where we're going to do the Crystal King and where I'm looking at my audio devices going, what the hell is going on? Uh, and so, pretty importantly, we just need to remember that when we go in there, we want to not trigger all of the outer nodes and I'll show you what they look like. So let's go in and trigger it. So, I'll just turn this audio to moderate. So these little pods here that you can see here, here, and they'll be sort of laced around the map. All three out here, you do not want to trigger these. You only want to trigger within these three points here. And so the way that I've always looked at it is think of that map cut into quadrants. Stay in this quadrant and don't move. And so you pretty much, if you're going to take this guy down, you want to play him with a pretty tanky character and pretty much face tank him and sit around the center. So we'll take his health down to the first sort of node. So he goes in. When you hit here, you pretty much just want to sort of sidestep this, let your quartz, like we're running Delve, so you're going to be playing a quartz flask, I hope, and pretty much just run around here. Now, if you've got like Leap Slam or whatever, you can Leap Slam and in between. Sorry. You can Leap Slam in between those uh, spikes, and when he does that move, you want to go out of his uh, kill zone and then run straight back in and go in face again. And pretty much just sit on him. If you've got a decently tanky character, you can do this. If you're playing Delve, you have to have a tanky character anyway. So he'll go back in, do his thing here. Go into this. And then basically, see how I'm not triggering any more than what's in this quadrant here. And the reason why is if we activate all those points, it'll go into a bullet death mode. And it's pretty much unwinnable at, at that stage. And Vortex Occultus is a really good character to verse him with, to be honest with you. Especially this one, because it's super tanky. So he'll go into his midway phase, which is here. We pretty much just want to drop a flare down. Uh, just to stop the darkness from creeping up on you, in particular at low levels when you hit 181 the first time. That'll pretty much kill you straight away. Well, it'll kill you if you're in there uh, for too long in the darkness. So you just want to clear everything. He'll pop back up for his uh, second phase of the fight. It's a super easy fight. Just reminding you, just stay between these three um, sort of pods or nodes, whatever you want to call them. 
I think if you trigger a fourth uh, fourth node, then he'll go into bullet death. He'll have a bullet death mode, which is another phase where you basically will automatically die straight away if you can't dodge it. Um, and I would not recommend. So he's back at it again. So we just want to walk out of the zone again. And if you stand too close and you don't have enough defenses at any of those pods, they will shoot projectile, ice projectiles at you or ice spears at you. So you want to avoid that as well. So we go back to his thing. And so we always just stay between these three quadrants or these three pods. As you can see, the quartz flask will just trigger. And if it didn't, I'd just literally dash between the, um, between the, uh, ice walls. And almost got him. One more phase. He's a relatively easy boss, so we'll trigger this last one. So we don't need to worry too much about that now. And there we go. Super easy fight and hopefully drops an all's uprising. Or not. So there is a possibility that he will drop these rings. And so I'll put a description, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, you can combine these rings with a, uh, a mountain meadow and there's another vari variation of the ring and you can get precursor emblems and they craft into really good rings for like high tier builds and whatnot or different builds that use power charge stacking and things like that. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much how you take down Crystal King relatively easily. I didn't luck out with an All's Uprising. Generally, he tends to dish out All's Uprisings like they're going out of fashion. Uh, just... Uh, the RNG Jesus did not uh, bless me in this instance. Anyway, stay tuned for part two. I'm going to show you how to do the architect down in Delve as well.